Okay, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to use Unity Collaborate uh, to share your projects. You can share it among different team members, or uh, what's actually helpful is you can share it between different computers. So if you're using the lab computer in the classroom and then your home computer, you can do that. So here I've got a simple project that's created. You've got to be here, not in Unity Hub. So open up some project that you're working on. And now I want to share this. So I'm going to go up here into uh, the Collaborate uh, uh, option. Now, you can also get that under the cloud service. There is a Collaborate that brings you the same thing, but this is just a shortcut to it. So I generally just use this. So to click on this. Now, first thing you have to do is set a project ID. Uh, it's a unique identifier for a project. So we hit here. Uh, we select our organization uh, here, and you should have a an organization here and then you can create a uh, project ID. Now how do you get an organization if there's not uh, other available? So you have to open up a web browser and go to unity.com and then log in. Uh, if you're not logged in you should see your icon here. You can click on here and say log in and use your Unity login. You can use your uh, your CSS uh, login uh, get, or Gmail login or whatever to do that. Uh, and then once you're logged in you can go up here and you can go to organizations and uh, you can add a new organization. So I just have uh, different organizations here. Uh, and so I can add one, uh, create an organization, uh, create it, and then add yourself to it. So let's say, uh, let's say fall 21, create that organization. Okay, and I got to make it unique, it looks like, and then create that. Uh, So now uh, you're the default member uh, with this organization, and but if you want to add others, uh, you can. So you can go down here and add uh, other people to your members. Uh, I think you can have up to three members in the free version of Unity to this. But generally, if it's just you, you, you just have to do that. So now once that's done, again, we can go back here um, and we can... Uh, select our organization uh, here. If I added that new organization, I have to go back here, I think, and open this up again. Um, and here's my new organization. So select uh, either one uh, here, and then create the project ID. Create that. Wait a little bit for it to, to be set up, and then you should be set uh, here. Um, now. Uh, if you make changes to your project here, so like here I've got a bunch of uh, example or projects here if I want to delete one or if I want to add some new things to this uh, example, I can add, you know, I'm just adding marbles to this. Uh, now I can go into Collaborate. Um, oh, I forgot to hit Start Collaborate uh, there. Okay, so now I've hit Start to Collaborate, and it's uh, going to prepare for collaboration, and it should uh, share my initial uh, version of this out to the cloud. Well, actually, it's just setting things up. If I hit Publish, it'll share my initial set uh, up to the cloud. So again, uh, it, it's sharing everything up to the cloud there, and it asked me to publish this. Uh, initial game files, and hit Publish. Now everything's up here. Now if I were to like change my game somehow, uh, move things around uh, here, uh, add another ramp for example. Um, and then I go into collaborate. Uh, I should be able to see those uh, changes uh, here. Oh, I didn't save my scene so I'm going to save my scene. Okay, so now my sample scene has been changed uh, here. Uh, and so I'll hit publish. So generally if there are things checked you want to make sure they're all checked and then you hit publish and that again save your changes up to the web. Uh, and this saves it to the Unity Cloud uh, stuff. Now I'm going to quit this and run Unity Hub. Now when you run Unity Hub um, and you look under projects uh, there should be some uh, projects that are shared to the cloud. They should have this little cloud symbol in a download version. So this is a project I created uh, in the classroom and then uh, again saved, shared with Collaborate uh, here. And I want to download it here. If some of these don't show up, you should be able to click on a button. Uh, it's not available here but because I've uh, downloaded But sometimes there's a little uh, link down here to say uh, uh, um, refresh cloud activity here. So now I'm going to click on this and download it. Now, 
Uh, it, there might be some slight differences with the different versions of utility uh, with Unity. You just have to select your version. So here I have two versions and it's a little confused. So I'm just going to select the 2020.3 and then I can hit download and it'll download that. It's going to ask me where you want to save this uh, here. And so I'm going to create a new folder for this. Um, Oops. Uh. Oops, where I lost that folder. Sorry, there. Okay, select that folder and it will uh, download the project uh, into that. So I can see it's opening that project and downloading it into that folder and then it'll open it up in Unity. And then you'll watch as it updates, it will download uh, all the assets uh, and stuff uh, from Unity into that uh, folder uh, for this. So now Unity's opened up this project that I'd shared down to the lab and have it here. Now, it's interesting to note uh, right away, um, it actually makes, when it opens, it makes some changes to some files, so right away it wants to upload changes. But generally, when you make changes to files, uh, those would be here. So, like, if I were to go into a scene here and add uh, some uh, uh, things to this scene, for example, and then I were to save the scene uh, here, that new scene and some other uh, things related to that scene would show up here. And then I would generally publish those, uh, click on these things and then publish, and this will upload all the changes I've made uh, to this project, to that, uh, to the Unity Cloud. Now let's look if you've already made a, let's go back to Unity Hub here. So now we're back in Unity Hub. Now this 2D Marble uh, thing is what I, I initially, uh, I create. I, I was. I shared to the collab 17 minutes ago. Now I've actually gone to the lab uh, and modified that and, and say and push the uh, changes back up. But it's not showing them here. So I have to hit this. See now the refresh cloud projects button here. I'm going to push that up here. And here's the the new version of it, the modified version of it. And so I'm going to download the new version here. Um, and it'll ask me where to save it uh, for that. So. So if this is, but the problem with this, clicking on this, is it'll make a new copy of that whole folder uh, here, and I actually have it. So, but so if if it's not a new copy, but the same one, I'm going to click on here and go in here, and I should be able to just download the changes to that. So now when I open up the project, it says, hold on, it's checking for changes because it knows this is a shared cloud project. So it will wait a bit, but it'll check changes uh, here. And um, the, it says, some revisions have been published to the server. Please sync them uh, here. So there's some changes on here. In fact, I changed some of the colors of things. So I'm going to hit sync. Uh, and it will download the new version, and we can reload this scene. And so, notice the balls are uh, the marbles are different colors, and some of these are different shapes. So it is resynced uh, that scene. So again, um, when you're using using this in Unity Hub, I usually don't download uh, a new pop project I just open it up again and then resync and again if I were to make changes to this for example if I were to change uh, get rid of some of these marbles or add some different marbles here and save that scene here's my scene uh, and some text uh, saved and I would have to publish those back up so that uh, I'd have to resync it on the other end so generally this, once you get the projects on both machines, it's just this publish and sync uh, buttons to go through. Okay?